my face. I don't know why, but I'm just going through a really, really bad acne breakout. And I just don't know what to do about it. I'm going to try and find a clinic that specializes in black skin. Because I just, I can't. Today's video, I'm really, I haven't really been making videos because I've been kind of down. Um, the last couple of months, I have been fighting uh, cystic acne, adult cystic acne. Now, I've had acne my whole life, and every time I get pregnant, like, my face clears up really nice. And I haven't had a breakout in years like years like when I make my previous videos like I'm not even wearing any makeup my face was so clear and then last October I think was it October November I woke up and my face was just full of pimples and I know it's cystic because they're like underneath the skin and I've been trying a lot of products um, I've tried everything I've tried dr. Spiller I've tried The Ordinary, I've tried Cetaphil, I've tried Spectrum, I've tried Clean and Clear, I've tried Neutrogena, I've tried just practically everything I could think of. And then I went online and this young lady was saying that when you have cystic acne sometimes you, it reacts to a salicylic acid, so I had to use benzoyl peroxide products. So I went and I to the pharmacy and I got some benzoyl peroxide products and they were working and then it just started getting worse again. So I'm at the stage now where I'm just like super down about it and I just don't know what else to do. I even went back on birth control to try and normalize my hormones because it can also be hormonal but that's not helping. So. I'm not exactly sure what to do. I have a lot of scarring because I pick, and I know I shouldn't pick my zits, but sometimes, like, they're so painful, I just have to pop them. I did a round of facials. Like, I went to um, a spa place, and I did, like, six masks in a row, acne masks, peels, blah, 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 and it's just not helping me. I drink water. I've changed my diet. I'm, like, practically a vegetarian and it's still not clearing up so i don't know what to do um this is my face right now and see some of it's like under my chin my right cheek is the worst and i can't even believe i'm showing this but and then under here and it's so painful and like itchy and I just don't know what the heck is happening. Someone said, well, maybe I'm because I'm working out, all the toxins are coming to the surface. Anyways, this is my face today. Today I'm going to get a chemical peel to try and clear up some of the darkened spots. And we'll see how the results go. And Yeah. That's, that's where I'm at right now, guys. I'm so tired of putting on makeup on my cheeks. I don't like doing my face because the rest of my face is okay. Like, I started getting a pimple here and one here, but otherwise, the rest of my face is okay. It's literally just on my cheeks. Like, I don't know what the hell's going on. Excuse my language. But I'm going to try a peel today and see if it clears up some of my scarring. And I'll keep you guys posted. Bye. Okay, so I went to the esthetician. And um, she was really, really nice. She did a lot of extractions in my face. The other side. She said, oh. 
Oh, it's too bright. Hold on. Here it is. Other side. She said that um, there was too much like pus and buildup, so she had to extract it. And I hate when you do extractions in my face because it gets so red and so scarred over. And it just looks horrible. She was like, you know, here is fine, but what's happening? So she told me that I needed to use products with retinol in them. So I made a doctor's appointment so she can prescribe retinol, the 1% for me, because here in Canada, we are not allowed to purchase that over the counter like in the U.S. So I'm going to try that. And then she also recommended this face wash and this cream that also has retinol that I can order from Amazon. More money to spend again, but I'm going to try it and see what happens. And hopefully some of this clears up before my vacation because it's going to suck going on vacation with my face looking like this. And yeah, I did get the peel as well. My face is a little bit tight. The peel wasn't really strong. So I'm thinking of kind of sort of doing one myself. Um, I did watch this lady do it on YouTube and I know I shouldn't probably do it myself but I'm really kind of annoyed it's like people when you go to get these peels it's like they're afraid to go deeper like I want to get the scars off my face I just don't want my face to look bright and shiny I want it to strip I want it to peel I want these scars to vanish so we'll see what happens I think I may need to do my own TCA peel um, and I'm like I'm crazy enough to try it like literally like I'm gonna try it because I'm so frustrated at this point so we'll see what happens she was like oh how old are you and I was like you know I'm 39 and she was like what you look so young she's like I'm 39 you look so much younger than me I'm like maybe it's the pimples on my face I don't know but we'll see as for that's it for this segment and I will try to do another one because my appointment's in two weeks but I kind of sort of think I'm gonna do something after week one We'll see. Bye, guys. Okay, so I'm gonna get my herbal peel, Kim. It's my face before. And hopefully I peel a lot in two days. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Okay, so today I went and I got the green peel done. I'm really itchy. I'm trying not to itch. Um, it's making my face itchy. After having it done, uh, she put some creams on my face and it has this like zombie looking white film. Um, she says that it will absorb, but it hasn't absorbed yet. I'm not allowed to wash my face for five days, so I'm really hoping that it does absorb. She said I can get those uh, spongy makeup wedges and like press it into my face and see if that helps otherwise I'm stuck um, as you can see my acne scarring is like on a hundred this is my cheek on my right side this is my cheek on my left side and I wanted like a TCA peel but she said the green tea peel will be better because um, it's not as harmful to my skin and I will still get some results and I'm really hoping that she's right because at this point I feel like purchasing the, the acid stuff and just pouring it on my face <laughs> honestly I'm not gonna lie I really wanted my skin to improve before my trip but I'm not sure that's gonna happen so um, yeah, I decided to do the green tea peel. I stopped using the Retin-A and my antibiotics so that this peel can work because she says I'm not allowed to use it during um, the peel process. And it's supposed to be for five days. So after the five days, I'm going to resume my Retin-A um, because it was helping. And um, that's where I stand right now with my face. I'm really hoping that it will have some kind of improvement soon but um, if not then I'm gonna 
try, you know, like laser resurfacing or something um, to fast track the removal of the scarring from my face because it's ugly and I hate it. Um, the cause of my acne has been attributed to stress and hormonal imbalance. So, I have to try and reduce the stress in my life and see a counselor and um, go from there. I'm also going to make an appointment to see a naturopath, but this is day one of the green peel, the green herbal peel uh, on my face. Chin. Day one. I have to go to work tomorrow, so I'm really hoping I don't look like a zombie. <laughs> Bye. So this is like day two of the peel. And honestly, I can't see much change in my skin at all. Except for like a redness and a ton of still acne marks. Um, I did see, I do see some things starting to peel a bit. But I don't think it's skin. I just think it's the film from the mask because I haven't been able to wash my face for five days. So this is what day two looks like. And I'm not really pleased, but I think, excuse my dry up face. I think when I come back from my vacation, I'm just going to try and get that VIP chemical peel somewhere because... This stuff is not working for my face at all. It's not, it's not doing anything. And I paid so much money for this stupid peel and it's not doing a thing. Day two. Okay guys, so I'm on day six of having my herbal peel mask and this is my face. I had some peeling here um, I did not peel a lot. I thought I was going to peel a lot and see a lot of reduction in the scars on my face, but I didn't see anything. Not a damn thing. God forgive my language. Um, I mean, it's not as dark maybe, but for me, this herbal mask was an epic waste of money and I'm not going to do it again. Hi guys, so this is part three of my acne video. Um, <clears throat> I've been kind of, you know, shy to post the videos. So part one I did before, and part one and two I did before I went to Mexico. And this is after I've been to Mexico. So I have been using the Retin-A. I used the 0.25%, the gel. Um, and then I also use the 0.5% in the cream. Sometimes I use the both of them, and if I use the both of them, I have to put the cream on first and then put the gel. But most of the times I use the gel, I find the cream is not as effective, but the gel, like, it burns like hell, but it really does work. I use that, I wash my face, I exfoliate, and then I use the gel. And, um, I'm just really just tired of this whole acne journey. Um, the retinol, I did go through that purging phase. I'll try and insert a photo. I did go through that purging phase where, you know, all the stuff comes up to the surface and your face looks horrible. And it was pretty bad, like it was pretty bad. Um, but it's calming down now and um, my pimples are starting to dry up. And I'm just left with a lot of scarring. I'll show you. Even though the areas are red, like they're flat and ready to like, for me to get a peel, to get rid of the skin, the marks and stuff. This is the right side. Um, so, I still have to try and find somewhere to get a chemical peel to lift up the scars. Um, I've been using the Murad Age Reform 
ABA AHA BHA exfoliating cleanser and I follow that up with a uh, skin medica AHA BHA cream I don't know if you can see it hold on let's see oh god this camera's really bad yeah so I use this cream um because they both contain the AHA BHA components to help with controlling uh, my acne. I sound tired because I'm just tired. I'm tired of having acne. I'm tired of this whole fight. But I'm making progress. I did find somebody who's going to do a 20% peel on my face. And hopefully that helps. I'm tired of the burns. I'm tired of just everything. But I'm going to keep using the retinol products because in time I'm told they will help. So I'll keep you guys posted. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> I know I sound really just sad, but it is sad. It's sad to have acne. It sucks. Like I want to wash my face and just go out. I don't want to wash my face and then I have to put on makeup or whatever. I did get um, a tinted moisturizer. cost a fortune. But it does help. Um, I'll talk about it in my next video. Until then, thanks for watching, guys. Any suggestions about my acne? Yeah, um, I welcome it. Just uh, let me know. <laughs>